this plate sits here, a couple of screws mounted into there, and then a couple of uh, uh, flathead screws, countersunk, uh, come through this way, and they bolted the old bellows on. Now, one thing I didn't really uh, care for is the old bellows they mounted up here. So, so with it being raised up like that, it left a gap under here and that stuff. And I was like, eh, I'm not really digging that. Well, when these came in, they, they looked exactly like this on both sides. Okay. And I'm glad I didn't start cutting and drilling, filing holes there. I did have to put that clearance in so that when it comes down here, it will rise up over the, uh, the block here, that mount. Okay. And then I also had to cut the ends off here to go over the heads of the... Uh, those Allen head bolts there. Because what I'm trying to do is to get this to just mount straight over like that. Now if you notice, it looks like there's going to be a bit of a gap here. And I thought, man, I could just, you know, put some duct tape behind that and call it good. But I think the coolant and all that kind of stuff is just going to uh, kill it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just make a new plate. One of the other things is, too, is that this leaves at least an inch of opening back here okay so if you're blowing chips around and stuff like that or they're bouncing around and that kind of stuff they could easily just find their way back in there so i'm going to make a plate that's the full width uh to keep that from happening part of it i'm partly making the new plate so that it comes down closer to here so that uh i don't have that gap there i may put an extra hole in here in the middle to help hold the bellows in the center there and i'll, I'll show you the other reason i'm making it here in just a second. All right, this is the plate I plan on making it out of. Um, it's some, some kind of aluminum. It's, I had a couple of these, and the other one is the chip tray on the uh, left side of the table on the mill there. I mounted it to a couple of blocks that hold it there. I, I've had it for years and years and years, haven't come up with another use for it, so the heck with it. Let's uh, clean it up a little bit and cut it up for uh, this. Now, let's see here. It's not quite square. Quarter inch overhang. Basically no overhang. It's exactly the same width. So, let's do it this way. The only difference being is, is that these holes will be there. I may put a couple of screws in there just to close the holes. It doesn't matter. They're not going to be anywhere where it's going to affect chips or anything like that. If I put screws in there, it'll purely be for cosmetics. So the original ones were drilled exactly for the holes there, and you can see it was cut for the clearance, uh, but then that clearance wasn't actually needed, um, and they're shortened here. So basically they were, because they were mounted up, everything cleared, that center wasn't needed, uh, it cleared the bolts here. I had to do it because I plan on keeping it down flush. You can kind of see there how they're in that position where the back end here, the left side here, it, is raised up. You know, it's been on the machine like that for uh, so long that it's kind of stuck in that position. So, uh, and these are the ones that have the big, uh, big tear in them. That's why they're getting replaced. So the new ones, I'd like to have them a little bit wider. Um, it would be perfect if these lands here, or whatever you want to call them, if if they were, you know, like another inch, inch and a half even. Um, another inch. If they were another inch wider, okay, and basically the accordion, the bellows, the fabric could be out that inch without having to have that deep of uh, a bellow, a valley, um, but the plastic, since that's holding it when it does this, because basically what it is is it sits on the way, and let's say this is the way here, and there's the, the edge, it sits like this, and so when they open up, you actually get chips right on the way. What I'd really like to see would be for that to be ex widened and extended like that, and that's that's almost enough right there. But if that was one inch wider on each side, it would definitely help keep the uh, chips from uh, getting and sitting on the on the ways there and getting rubbed back and forth by the uh, the bellows, uh, and obviously from the table, the saddle. So with cutting this, I I started measuring and everything, and I started looking at the holes. And, and if you can see that, the, the holes are 7.30 seconds off the center here. So it would be really hard for me to put a hole in there and keep any kind of structure to match these. To line up with those holes and to line up where it was, the bellows would have been sitting there. 
now that I've got things figured out and stuff like that, the bellows are actually going to be sitting here. So now I can drill holes that actually line up with the slots instead of having to try to drill those, drill the plastic or drill the uh, next to those other holes and stuff like that. So part of the reason for making the new plate is because of that gap along here that I already showed and the gap on the sides. So you can see there, that's the gap I would have in the back. This is just going to be bandsaw fabrication. I'm not going to try to put it in the mill or anything like that to get the holes exactly the same or square any edges up or anything like that. My plan is to basically line this up on the top here, get it lined up, get it in the middle. i got to do some measuring here and that stuff, but get it in the middle and I'll have to draw around it and that stuff and then and then put this up here and mark the mark where the holes need to be and stuff like that so well I've already gotten started on it here uh, I am got a feeling I'm gonna hit here so then I'll have to figure out how to flip it over uh, I should be able to at least cut in that far, so should be good to go. Wow. Size matters. <laughs> that is why it's nice having some bigger tools sometimes. That would have been quite the challenge to do that on the uh, 4x6. Yeah, not a fan of that. Let's just go cut it. And here's where it's nice to have something a bit smaller. Now, since I have that, I can go back to the big one and come back the other way because I can't, I can't get in here and do that. Oh yeah, I guess I do still have some cutting. I gotta cut this flange off the back so it'll sit there. And I need to cut out a little bit for the uh, bolts there. So I can just slice right down that. That ought to leave a nice edge. I'm wondering if if this will work. <laughs> yeah, that worked. Let's do it again. Good enough. Okay, I think when I bolt it in, the holes will hold it up just a hair. Then it'll work just fine. Well, I think that's uh, it. I got four holes. One more test fit and four holes. Well, let's see how it looks.
Oh, not too bad with a tape measure and a punch, huh? All right, I gotta screw those to that. Um, since these are slotted now, I can put the screws back in here and drop it down over it instead of trying to uh, bend it up and start the threads. That'll make that a lot easier. Whoop. Same way I had to notch these sides for the bolt clearance for the backing plate. Now that the, the bellows are mounted, I can uh, tweak those. Yeah, I know, no, glo no gloves. I couldn't see putting them back on just for the, uh, the last test fitting. There is much, much, much less of a hole. Yeah, that looks nice. That looks kind of finished. I like the fact that it's flat now instead of having that hump in it. So uh, that's it for right now. I will, I got to take that off, hold it up over here, put the other side in, attach it, and then I can put that side back on. Uh, but I want to make sure I get the, the ways and stuff like that cleaned under here uh, first. Get it bolted on there, then I can put the cover back on here. Yeah, so I should have this thing finished tomorrow. I guess I should have ordered <laughs> a second set of Y-bellows. I knew there was a couple of holes in there, but I did not realize it was that holy. Um, let's see. Yeah, I mean, look at that. You can see the light right through there. Almost like it's a screen. <laughs>